Hey guys, how are you today? I hope your day is fantastic. Hey look, today I wanna to show you how easy it is to make this fantastic entertaining dish. Uh, we've been to the Galeo Dairies and bought home some of their camembert. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make a melted, beautiful, uh, gooey dip. Well, not dip, side to go, I guess, with your crackers. Now it is really easy. I'm gonna use a guided recipe today. I'm going to use the melted brie with basil and pesto, um, with lemon pesto, sorry. However, you don't have to follow it to a T. I'm not actually gonna serve it with the lemon pesto. I'm gonna serve it with some beautiful cooked strawberries that I, um, the other day we got from the strawberry farm. And I'm gonna show you then how to do that at the end as well. So come along and I'll show you how to do this. Now, on my TM6, I'm actually gonna scroll straight down in the recipe. And I'm going to go to the step where it asks for the water. I'm going to skip the pesto steps because I'm not doing that. Now it says 500 grams of water. Did you know inside your bowl it is marked with little dots at the back here? So you can fill it up just by eye. You don't have to actually be measuring it by weight. Close enough is good enough because this is just going to create the steam for this beautiful dish. So there we go, 382 apparently, but I'm not going to be particular. Place your Verona into position. Here's your Varoma. This can be made on a TM31, TM5, TM6 or some other thermo cooker by all means. You just might need to cook it longer if you're on something other than a thermo mix. Line the Varoma with baking paper. Now what does that mean? Baking paper. You might have the steaming tray from the mix shop. It will do well as, as well. You could do that instead. Um, in it goes. Or even like if you've got a, a silicon kind of mat, it would work as well. Next, place your unwrapped 125 gram reel of brie onto the Varoma dish. Now, I'm actually gonna unwrap mine. I know that's a little different to the recipe, but I wanna actually unwrap mine. It I actually find it makes it easier to remove it later. It'll still go nice and gooey, I promise, um, but it just means it's easier to, to deal with later. Otherwise, I find it gets stuck to the paper. I know the paper is usually double lined on your cheese, but I find this is the best way. Guys, remove it. And then you'll find later it's really easy to lift off the baking paper and, and tip it onto your serving platter. By the way, mine's 200 grams, so we'll extend the cook time just a wee bit as well. Oh, insert the Varoma tray. So normally, okay, let's go back. Let me just go exactly as what the recipe would have said. It, it's actually telling you to put it into the Varoma dish and then on top, you're gonna put your tomatoes. Now, there's certainly different ways you could be doing this. You could be doing it over something like a soup. You could be making a beautiful pumpkin soup. If I had pumpkin, I probably would and be steaming veggies at the same time, and this on top. It doesn't have to be exactly as is. So insert the Varoma tray, weigh cherry tomatoes on top. As I said, I'm serving my strawberries and secure the Varoma lid. So this just goes on top like that. The baking paper sticks out the side. Don't stress about that. Okay, 14 minutes of Varoma speed one. Now I'm gonna come back in 14 minutes and show you the next step in this beautiful recipe. If you've not tried it, tried it, go check it out on cookiedo.com.au. And if you don't have cookie do because you don't have a Thermomix or maybe you don't have a cookie or you got TM31, go check out the 30 day free trial. Go to cookiedo.com.au, check out the 30 day free trial. It just needs an email and a password and you can have access to this recipe, thousands of others as well at your fingertips. Then if you've got a TM6 or a TM5 with a cookie, you can send it guided. However, otherwise you can just cook to it and meal plan and create your shopping list. It's phenomenal. So anyway, see you in 14 minutes for the next step. See you then. Okay guys, welcome back. This has been cooking for 13 minutes, 14 minutes, whatever that was before. It's about to cool down. It says to extend the cook time by two minutes if required. We're gonna have a look at it and see what it looks like, whether it needs that extension of time. Flick off your Varoma. Did you know to flick it off so that the water doesn't get you that steam? Oh, it does not need any extra time. Can't wait to show you this. It is imploding. Look at that. You guys see the top of that, like literally imploding off it. How cool does that look? So what are we gonna do now? All right, we need to just put this aside for a second. Get your serving plate, all right? Now, if you were doing the recipe as per how it says, you would have put your uh, pesto on here. You're then going to very carefully unwrap that. Can you imagine trying to unwrap that though? I think I would probably break it in the unwrapping process. Um, so that's why I unwrap it first. You would put that on top and then you'd have your steamed tomatoes around it. It would be absolutely amazing. So I'm doing it a little different though. As I mentioned, I cooked up some, some strawberries the other day. You can see in there, I've got some beautiful strawberries from the beautiful Shaylee's Strawberry Farm here on the Atherton Tablelands. I'm gonna very carefully grab egg flip, best friend, okay? We need to very carefully lift this off. Don't try, don't pierce it. If you pierce it, oh, it'll actually uh, implode, right? It's gonna ooze out everywhere. 
what I do need to do is just get it a bit lower to deal with it. It's too high for me up there. Make a bit of space here. Now the other thing I have done is if it's a bit cooler, because you've made it in advance, you don't want it to be cold, cold, it'll reset. But what you can do is you can take it straight off the baking paper and flip the whole lot up, which I can actually probably do now that I've mentioned that to you guys. So I can lift the whole lot up on the baking paper. Okay, liquid and everything. I'm just getting rid of some of that steaming liquid off it. Here we go. Get your plate upside down. See, it works so much better when there's no pesto on there. And now, look at that. So I've just inverted it. You can see how liquidy it is inside. Can you guys see that literally inside gooing? So what I want to do is I want to now put on top of this, let's just move some stuff out of the way and I'll just zoom you down a little bit if I can. Nope, down, choice down, there we go. All right, we will put on top of it. So normally it tell you how to finish it off, okay? Like I told you before, but we're gonna do this. This on top. This is gonna be beautiful. It's gonna make that real sweet, I don't know, um, camembert is a bit renowned, I guess, for being that little bit bitey. I guess it's not a hugely, like it's, it's luscious, but it's got a different flavor to it. So I'm just going to spread this carefully around the top. This would be lovely, I reckon, if you had some, uh, maybe some nuts or some coconut on top as well. I don't have that with me, so I'm just going to roll with what I've got. And I'm going to show you what this looks like when I cut into it. So watch out in a second for the beautiful gooiness. So mine did not require more time. You can actually see the strawberry jam melting made this a few days ago here we go all right let's just get you guys down a little bit further so you guys can see and let me show you this awesome oozingness so I'll just cut a little triangle out and you should see pretty quickly how gooey it is inside you guys see that look at that let me just cut through the skin. The skin is the hardest part, or the crust, whatever they call that. But look at that beautiful goo. Straight onto your cracker and straight into your mouth. Absolutely amazing. Perfect for entertaining. And, um, yeah, give it a go. It doesn't have to be anything fancy with your cheese, okay? Cheap cheese, perfectly fine. Brie, camembert, you know, it will work amazingly in this recipe. So give it a go. When you do, share the picture with me. I'd love to know what you think of this recipe. But certainly well worth doing. And thanks, Galeo Dairies, for allowing us to come through. We loved watching your milking demonstration in the afternoon at 3 o'clock, if you're ever in the area. Uh, and can't wait to taste your cheese. So take care, everyone. And I'll see you next time on the next video. Um, but do tell your friends and family who are out and about traveling this great country uh, in caravans, motorhomes, hotels, whatever it might be, about these videos and let them know that I'm here to help you and them uh, with a Thermomix. Whether that's get more out of it or get one on the bench, that's what I love doing. So take care and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.